name is K. Felix, and I will come you to K. Felix Inspire. Always remember, if you're coming here for the first time, please don't forget to subscribe. Hit the bell icon so that you get notified whenever I post new videos. Please do stay tuned for more details in this video. Good afternoon. Fine, thank you. We'd like to welcome you back home. Just to begin with, uh, how would you describe the COP26 summit that you attended and going forward, what are some of the commitments that Zambia is making? Um, it is COP Glasgow, COP26. It's a very important uh, conference. Um, it confirms what many of us knew, others were doubting that our climate uh, is being distorted by our artificial activities and we need to do something. We know what caused that, but that's not the issue now. The issue is to find the solution to the climate change challenges, to save humanity, to save the globe. Mr. President, you also met with the Eurobond leaders. Would like to find out if at all you are happy with the outcome. Well, um, let's put it in context. We met uh, some of the Eurobond debt stockholders, not all, some of them. And our engagement is meant to make sure that the principles are agreed, that we have a debt situation, a difficult situation. Uh, on their side, on our side as a country, on their side as debt providers, on our country as, uh, uh, as borrowers. And that um, this situation needs to be dealt with. That's number two. Number three, that we must be talking to each other. We must engage with each other. We must exchange notes. All of that designed, intended to find a solution to this challenge. Pretty straightforward. Nothing strange, nothing until un what? That's the way it should be. The present uh, platform, there are worries of debate over the constituent development fund that uh, though the UPND has made milestone in increasing uh, the fund from uh, 1.6 million to 25.7 million budget. There is no legal framework and the policy to implement. <laughs> What's the reaction? I, you know, sometimes it's difficult to understand where people come from when uh, what what's what's their conceptualization in their minds when they raise issues like that uh, how can there be a le no legal framework how can anyone argue like that what is the budget the budget is an instrument for generating revenue and directing expenditure that's the meaning of a budget is this in instrument legal yes it's legal under what budget act <laughs> Everything in that budget is legal. So if somebody is saying there's an illegality, a legal framework, then I'm not too sure if they understand exactly what 
uh, they are saying and what they, what they want. All I know is that uh, it's normal in society. There will be people who see a good thing from a different angle. I'm a rancher, and I asked, uh, I told somebody that uh, four people are standing around the car, <clears throat> right? The one in front will describe the cow, maybe through the horns, the one at the back through the tail, the one at the side through the black spot, the other on the other side through the white spot. Same cow. The fact is that the cow is black, has a black spot, has a white spot, has horns, has a tail. So where people sit, not to worry about that. What we've done is dramatic. That has never happened before since independence to move money away from a small clique of thieves, corrupt people in Lusaka, and take it to the people, 156 constituencies. They are the owners of the money. We intend over years to gravitate more money from the center into the localities. That is the difference we bring to the table. And you will see the effect, the positive effect of that in two, three years. Then we shall see those who be believe what they are believing now. We shall but see who is right. right Thank you very much. No, no, like allow them. I've been away for a long time. <laughs> Just allow them. Welcome back, sir. Yeah. Uh, let's the, bring your attention also to issues back home. There are pending appointments, those of permanent pending appointments, those of permanent secretaries, as well as yes. the police commissioners. Uh, we would like to find out when exactly you intend to do that, and also you have been, your government has been accused by some opposition leaders that there is statements that are happening are happening on tribal lines there as is well statement. as regional. Yes. You have to be careful when you ask questions of ethnicity. First, you must start from the premise that all Zambians are entitled to jobs. First. And we must not make any issue because that's a human right. You are entitled to be a journalist. That's why you're a journalist. Are you a tribalist because you're a journalist in Dam? You're not. That's mischief by the tribalists, the hegemonists, who did not want this country to be run by anyone else other than a clique of thieves like them. And I call them a clique of thieves because they've been feeding off public resources from independence. And I don't think that someone else, other people can run a country in a better way to redistribute jobs, to redistribute resources. This is what a colossal mind does. And uh, it doesn't bother me a lot at all, but it's just to put things right, is there. And you as a journalist must understand that, even when you are motivated to ask the question, like you are, you must understand what has been obtaining in this country. This country was divided in the last 10 years. Cabinet came from only four provinces. 95% of cabinet came from four provinces. Today, <laughs> the cabinet comes from all the 10 provinces. You should be proud of that. Whoever is motivating you to ask the question should be proud of that. That's number one. Number two, there will be no police commissioners appointed by the president. In two weeks, Inja, the police commissioners will be promoted, will be appointed by the police command and the police, police and prisons commission. We want to reduce the direct number of presidential appointments into a commission. That was an anomaly, which was not normal, but you already you believe it was normal. This was only altered a few years ago. Otherwise, police commissioners were appointed by the police command, promoted together with the police and prisons commission. That's the way we, it shall be we are returning to that. So the issue of uh, other remaining appointments, time must be managed. <laughs> Two months, 11 days or so in office, you manage your time, you utilize your time properly. Otherwise, you'll be you know, a haphazard you know, government. We don't want to be a haphazard government. Everything you see happening is well orchestrated, is organized, is fixed in an order, including simultaneous activities. Start with priorities. What's your priority? It's to get this economy going. The economy goes on. Budget is one of the key issues. So for me, the time I had, one month, one and a half months, was to ensure that the budget framework, the ropes, the principles, the shift to CDF is done and done properly. You can only use one hour in certain ways. You can't use one hour to do everything. We are just in good time. We're comfortable with what we're doing. Other appointments will come. No big issue. Mr. President, thank you very much. Thank Thanks. you. Thank you, thank you so much, Mr. Thank President. Thank you very much. Thank you, guys. Thank you.